Hello there, Internet. This is Søren of Chief Unlocked, and I'm here to let's play Knut Underground. Um, Knut Underground is the most recent game made by Swedish video game developer Niklas Nygren, who's probably better known as Niflas on the Internet, and it builds upon two of his other games called Knut and Knut Stories. And in fact, it essentially also merges these two games with one of his other games called Within a Deep Forest. So in a nutshell, Knut Underground is this incredibly zen puzzle platformer which focuses, well, almost entirely on ambience, as you can probably already tell from the screen behind us right now. Um, and before jumping into it, let me just also mention that the game is currently in the process of being greenlit on Steam. So if this game looks like your kind of thing, uh, be sure to check out the link in the, in the video description below to the, st um, the Steam Greenlight page. And uh, give it a green light if, if, uh, if you're into this kind of thing. So let me just jump right into it here. So here we have it, Knut Underground. So we're controlling this uh, this little guy. Turns out it's not really a guy in the background here. And uh, we move around very fastly. So control-wise, this plays out very much like Knut's stories. And I will probably be um, comparing this game here a lot to Knut's stories. Again, that I've also played on, um, on this channel right here. So if you want to have a look at some of his earlier stuff, uh, make sure to check that out as well. So before jumping into chapter one here, um, let me just say that uh, the game is available. There is a demo available for free on Niflis webpage. I'll probably put in a uh, link to that as well right below. And in the demo, you can essentially play through chapter one. Um, and as far as I understand, chapter two and three are a lot bigger than chapter one. So this might be a bit misleading if you just want to get a sense of the size from chapter one here. Um, and I guess here we can just choose two plays. So why don't we just do that? and jump right into it. So now we can actually see our character here, so that's kind of nice. And we can see it's actually not a guy, as I said before. I wonder what we can do in our little house here. It doesn't seem like we can do very much. So, who do we have here? Nicholas. So I guess this is the maker of the game. By the way, also the video game developer in the world with the greatest beard, as you will see if you check out the green light page. And he says, mm, hi there. Welcome to Knut Underground. In this, ga uh, in this game, you play as a girl who has lost all her memories. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, and we can see that we are called me here. You have no idea who you are or how you ended up here. Don't listen to him, he's such a liar. Anyway, hi, my name is Mies Brockett. Right now, I need to see the fairy, so we should totally go to them. Might if we say hi to my sister first, though? She lifts up the top path. Well, I don't mind, so why don't we just do that? Uh, what do we have here? Some water that I definitely don't want to go into. And the... Some kind of pickup that allows us to turn into a... Apparently we can only use it once. Um, allows us to turn, turn into this um, ball of dust here. I should say this is very much a first impression um, video game. I haven't had all that much time in it right now. Um, essentially because I figure it probably works out a lot like new stories did. So let's see what we have here. So this is Re. Hey sis, look what I found. A rare human artifact. It automatically creates maps and overplays it. Amazing, isn't it? I want you to have it. Yes, I know. I'm the best. You're welcome. You needed more than me anyway. I'm not the one who goes blanking all the time. So, I was told you were going to the fairy springs. If you can get an extra wish, can you ask for a name change? That's weird. For me, that is. I mean, seriously, what kind of name is Re? That's a good question. In either case, see you around. Um, it look like space here allows us to check out the map that we just got. So that's nice. Let's go back again. This water is indeed dangerous, and I want to check out what happens with that. And now, Niflis is gone. I want to say with that, it's a little bit strange. So let's go on further and see what else we have here. So this game is uh, essentially all about exploration. Um, there are several paths to go to to all the various places in the game, um, and this is one of the safe spots in the game that we can get back to whenever we die or stuff like that. Um, but as I was saying, there are plenty of ways around the game, and moreover, there are plenty of secrets to be found around. Um, so I don't think I can go up there right now. Maybe if I went back and got the, um, the dust that allowed me to fly. But I don't think I will do that for now. Let's see what else we have down here. 
For now, we have the, the ability to, uh, to climb walls, it looks like. So that's something you would have to find on your own in the Knut Stories game, which was a little bit annoying, as well as the um, ability to run fast. That's also something that, that came uh, standalone in the Knut Stories games, which, which confused me a little bit back then, actually. So I'm glad to see that um, they decided to just give you that just from the beginning. But it looks like we do need this dust indeed, and um, we can bring that with us to go through the passage below. Or I guess we just lost that, actually. Oh, so this is already a puzzle. I can see where this is going. So if you've seen any of the other games in this channel, you'll know that I'm very bad at doing puzzles live. Unfortunately so. Don't, doesn't look like we can get up here. And as you've se if you've seen some of the other games, I will always try to sequence break as much as I can. Oh, it seems like I'm almost ma able to make that jump, but I'm probably not supposed to. So that is a little weird. Um, so one thing I have noticed is that many people call this sort of a limbo look-alike. I can see what they're, um, where they're going with that, because we have these um, silhouettes essentially showing what the background should be like. But I think it's a bit misleading. First of all, it's, it's a completely different kind of game. Um, let's see what we have here. The ability to shoot, apparently. Maybe we'll use that soon, I imagine so. And indeed we will. Game tutorial lesson a little bit worse. So anyway, people say that this is kind of a limbo lookalike. And I think that's misleading. Also, just because um, if you've played Knut Stories, you will know that um, the same kind of style actually um, played a big role in that game. And that game did come out a lot before Limbo did. And it looks like this is already getting a bit tougher. So I imagine now that I just need to avoid that guy because he definitely looks evil. Also, I'm very happy with this, um, with this whole map thing, because it's so easy to get lost in these games. Another thing some of you will probably notice is that this uh, map here, scrolling around and it looks very much like a map from a Metroid game. And I believe Niflas himself is a very big fan of the uh, Metroidvania games, and Super Metroid in particular. So it's a kind of a nod to those games as well. And I should say I am as well, which is uh, one of the main reasons I uh, I got the game right here. So let's see what this can do. It will allow us to jump very high. So I imagine we have to use this one, get up here, get this thing here, which allows us to shoot. Oh, so that's kind of... Oh, it allows us to teleport. That's very cool. Um, and what does this thing here do? Oh, okay, so that's our inventory. So now we got a candlestick. Legend has it that candles placed in these candlesticks will never melt. However, experiments suggest otherwise. So the game has a bit of a very silly humor going on already. I kind of like that as well. What else do we have here? We have a silver coin. Many sprites rely on human money to do business. This is not without problems as there is no general agreement about the exact values of the various coins. Okay, and we have a mapper. That's a bit weird. I'm not completely sure what we have to do with this stuff yet, but for now let's just appreciate the fact that we have it. So one thing that um, people seem to be wondering about a lot is the pronunciation of the game. So as you might have noticed, I call it Knut Underground, mainly because that's the way um, Niflis uh, calls it himself, if you just look up his green light video. So Knut, um, the word Knut actually comes from uh, the Moomin series, uh, the Moomin cartoons, uh, some of you might know, um, where uh, these Knuts are, these small creatures, and I think it, it first appeared in the um, in the book called Vem ska trösta Knutten. Um, and this is, of course, just me butchering the Swedish language once again. I am not Swedish, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, actually, I, I might want to say instead. Um, and I don't feel all that bad about butchering the Swedish language, because as, as I've said before, uh, Swedish I consider really just to be a butchered version of Danish, so butchering it further doesn't really do all that much to the language, I feel. So, once again, I apologize to all the Swedes out there who are watching this right now and thinking I'm a huge idiot. Um, so let's see what Mises here. I think I've found everything in the temple. Let's head back out. Sure. Um, so we have two candlesticks now. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with those. I thought that we were gonna check out on the ferries, but I guess not. Let's see what else we have going for us here as we go back again. So if we just press A and the A button when I don't have... Whoa! I have certain death. 
So wait, did I get... Did I get the candlestick? Yeah, I, I did. Okay. That's fair enough. So the game autosaves as well. That's good to know. And I totally forgot where I was going with the other stuff I was talking about. Um, so hopefully that wasn't too important. Any secrets here we should check out? I guess not. So in, in Knut Underground, secrets are most commonly found along the walls in the game. So I might, um, I'll probably end up hogging the walls quite a lot. Like it was some kind of Wolfenstein game or something like that. But now I can't get up here. Well, that's where I came from, isn't it? Who do we have here? It's Johan. Uh, Johan, it's probably called. It seems like all the characters in this game has um, Swedish sounding games, uh, Swedish sounding names, so that's cool. Hey, Johan's a name. You can talk to me. You know, there's this thing called speaking. And apparently we don't want to talk to this guy. What is that? So, you don't even have the decency to talk to me, yet you expect me to open this door for you. I didn't say that at all. But yeah, it would be kind of nice because we can't go anywhere else. Fine! I was even going to let you through for free. But you can forget that now. There are two candlesticks I want. You'll find them in the temple to the west, bring them to me, and I may reconsider. What's that? You brought them already? I guess I should let you through after all. Alright, weird candlestick loving guy. Can we talk to him again? The door's open already. Stop standing around here, weirdo. That's probably not the best first impressions we could have made there, but... Oh well. These guys look kind of evil, aren't they? What happens? I guess they're not. Ikatir. Ikat... yeah. I'm gonna call it an Ikatir. I'm gonna make up my own words for all the characters in this game. Hi, me. I see you've met Johan. So first he builds a stupid door. Then he offers to open it for people. For a fee, of course. Can you believe the moron asked me to fetch him candlesticks? Most people have the respect to not even touch things that belong to the temple. Johan asked me to steal them. I guess I did sort of just steal them on my own, so maybe we should mention that to this guy. I told Johan I'd put um, some ancient Tengoro... Tengoro What's up with the names in this game? This is horrible for me. Uh, Tengoro curse on him. Um, then I gave him the glare. Worse than everybody. How, how did you sneak through? Say hi to my jewelry for me. Okay. <laughs> so these characters have some sort of uh, Kiwi sounding names. Um, as in, or maybe I should say Maori sounding names. That's cool as well. This means that I'm not going to pronounce it correctly. I hope you'll look through your... Uh, look through that. Not care too hard about it. I apologize in advance. What else do we have here? Let's check out our map. I would have thought we'd gone much further. So that's how it always is in these kind of exploration kind of games. Um, you, everything seems so big until you figure out um, where to go exactly. And then when you know the entire map, it just feels like you can blaze through it in no time. That's essentially how every single Metroidvania work, game works. So I think sort of like how real life works as well. Start out in small, know your own little village, but then as you grow older, everything becomes a lot smaller as you start to, to make your way around the world. If you decide to do that. Let's see, it looks like we can get something up here. How's that? A green gemstone. A beautiful and highly valuable gemstone. I say we steal it as well, because apparently that's what we do. We steal stuff from the temple. Okay, so, so what do I think about this game? Uh, first of all, I really love the ambience um, that are in all of Nuclear's games. It's not so much about being a difficult puzzle, it's more like walking around in these weird caves that are full of weird um, plants and stuff like that. So what do we have here? It's, it's Susanna. Um, so, what's with that outfit? You used to dress so elegantly. What's up with the people in this game? Do I know her? Also, hmm... I'm sorry for bringing this up, but I have some financial problems. Well, and you're inside the huge cave trying to fix those, or what's going on here? Maybe she's confusing me with my sister. So you remember that small debt you owe me? You're usually more talkative than this. Anyway, it uh, would now be a good time to repay. Um, sure. I'll help her out. So I guess we have a quiz marker down here. 
So this is looking very much like uh, Metroid Zero Mission now all of a sudden. That's very cool as well. We are sorry if you haven't played those games, um, as I will probably be making a lot of references to those. Because it's pretty obvious where um, where the inspiration comes from here. I wonder if my map artifact also shows paths opened by earthquakes. Sh well, I guess I wonder about that as well now. Oh, sorry. Um, so, I guess this Q is, denotes the uh, no path, maybe? Okay, so as you can probably tell, there's going to be a lot of backtracking involved here. Um, where as soon as we get new items, we are able to go to new places um, in the in the game. And apparently we also have these earthquakes opening new ways. So I don't remember, was this path here before? Maybe it wasn't. I'm a bit unsure. It probably was, because all we have in here is a, a safe room. But I guess we can't go through there. So maybe the Q really just denotes our request, Q for request, that does make sense, doesn't it? I figured it was like Q for a quake. Maybe the path down here is the one that wasn't open before. So I apologize if some of you out there already know this and figure it's like, I should have been able to remember that already, but... When you do these first uh, impression kind of movies, that's the sort of thing that you should expect happening all the time. Especially with... Um, the channel like this one where I tend to always just, um, well, generally just be bad at video games and mess up the simplest stuff. But we definitely haven't been down here. So there's a green button up here which I imagine has something to do with the green doors that we see below. So let's check that out. Okay, so that's on the timer. So we have to be very quick here. Or, ah, okay, so it recharges. So let's see what we have to do. And now we have to run. Run! Oh, no, 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 not like that. <laughs> we have plenty of time, we can do it. Yeah! And we managed to succeed. Oh, this doesn't look good at all, does it? If I go down here, will this guy shoot me? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, this is very scary. Oh, f yeah. Uh, okay, so see what I have to do? Um, I just have to be less bad at this. And I'm pretty sure we, we should have taken the path to the right. Can I g still go back and take the path on the right? I guess I can. Or maybe I can make it up there, actually. Okay. So I guess we're stuck here until I make it past these guys. No problem at all. I guess I don't want to go back up there again. What does the map say? We're getting pretty close to our quest. Um. So for some reason we seem to know that there is money somewhere in this temple that we can get. This is scary. Oh, this is a more efficient way of doing it. Uh, well, I'm kind of scared, so I want to make my way through this dungeon here. Does that work out pretty well? If I were faster, I could have probably made the jump there and avoided having to deal with this guy. But he isn't too much of a problem. What do we have here? I don't know how much Ray owes this girl, but I'm sure these two gemstones are sufficient. Okay, so I guess that's what I needed the other gemstone I found for as well. Um, can we make our way up there? Nope. So we have to make it past these scary guys. I guess we don't have to because the game has some built-in shortcuts here. That is nice, of course. Let me just fully load that one and make my way back here. And again, we have these uh, small one-way paths. And another one of them here. So that's of course pleasant game design. Um, it's the kind of backtracking that's nice because it doesn't really feel like backtracking because you're going another way, even if it is essentially just backtracking. Um, so that's sort of a pet peeve of mine. Um, selling good backtracking from bad backtracking. And this is definitely good backtracking, in particular because we're not that familiar with these areas yet. Uh, is there anything else I want to check out here? Or I probably just want to get back to... Um, what, were any, what was her name? Susanna? That's where I came from in the first place. Um, I guess we have to make our way up here. Uh, let's 
Let's see what we have here. Whoa! You're offering me those gems. You're crazy. That's like what do you owe me times twenty. Oh man! Should have kept the gems. I have no idea how to probably thank you for this. I could open the door. Thanks. <laughs> That's nice of you. Hey, thank you so much for those gemstones. That's all right. All right, so I think I will call it a day for this video here. Make it safe here, and um, thank you all for watching. So I will probably continue playing this game here. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the episodes, if you want to check out the rest of chapter one or essentially just the rest of the, rest of the game, I will be playing it through on this channel. So in order to make sure you what you uh, you find those, um, you can just subscribe. And if you have any comments, any uh, things you want, uh, you think I should check out, or just anything you feel like this uh, should be done differently in these videos, um, you can just leave a comment in the comment section below. So for now, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you some other time. Thank you.